Hello. Today we're going to learn how to model sums and differences using tape diagrams with the help of Mrs. Morgan's fifth graders. And we're going to do it with decimals. Um, so the directions I gave them were find the sum and the difference, which means add and subtract, 39 um, and 68 hundredths, and 26 and 34 hundredths. So uh, what the students were asked to do is they're going to draw a tape diagram to model the relationship between the quantities, which is really just a bar diagram. Okay. So in our picture we can see um, this student was modeling subtraction. They have the whole written above it, and they have their bar split into two parts that make up the whole. And since it's subtraction, we don't know one of the parts. Okay. In an addition tape diagram like this student drew, um, the two parts add together to make the whole. Now it doesn't do the math for you, but it helps you model the math. Uh, one criticism I have of this tape diagram is this 39 box should really be bigger than this 26 box. We want it to be proportional because 39 is a bigger number than 26. Um, this student models a subtraction version where the question mark is one of the parts and we know the whole in one of the parts which tells me to take away. Again, we'd want it to look a little bit more proportional. Maybe they could go back and move that over a little bit to show that 26 is bigger than 13. Um, now this person, uh, Sage, drew a comparison uh, tape diagram where we know the whole is worth this much. Her bars are not touching, and I love that hers are drawn proportionally. She shows that 26 is bigger than 13. Very well done. Now we're going to listen to a couple of Mrs. Morgan's fifth graders explain to you how they drew theirs. So our problem was adding two decimals, 26.34 and 39.68, and we used an addition model. Can you explain what you did? So I did a tape diagram. I took two, I put two boxes, I put each of the numbers in it. Why is one bigger than the other? Because this one is bigger than this one, so I made this one longer and this one shorter. Because 39 is bigger than 26. Okay, what's your little arrow saying there? What's that doing? It's like, I made it so I can add it. Okay, because we want to know the total. Great. How'd you add it? With 26 and 3400 plus 39 and 6800. And I got 66 and 200. So you just did the standard algorithm where you added down? Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. Now, same exact problem, but different model. Leland, you want to explain yours? Yep. So I basically did the same thing that Maggie did, but my diagrams are... So how'd you draw your diagram? I just had um, add two lines of the diagrams, and I made the same amount, because if when you add these two numbers, it makes the... What is What does the question mark mean? Oh, because you want to figure out um, what these two no, um, numbers equal. So you had two parts and you wanted to make the whole, right? Yep. Very nice job. Thank you.